Peripheral arterial disease, also known as poor circulation, is the phenomenon that occurs in patients that have decreased blood flow to their legs. This can sometimes be asymptomatic, where patients don't have any feeling at all or any understanding that they have this problem. Uh, from that to the wide spectrum of actually having gangrene and losing their limb. Uh, patients uh, are treated in a variety of ways. The older way of treating these patients has uh, traditionally been with bypass surgery. Here at Advocate Christ Medical Center, a lot of these patients are treated uh, in a minimally invasive technique uh, called endovascular therapy. And this is where we actually open up the blockages from within the arteries in themselves without actually bypassing the, uh, the arteries. The advantage of this is that these patients can go home usually the same day. Uh, they have less incisions. Usually they don't even have a scar and it heals up within a couple of weeks. They're able to get up and move around within uh, two to three days and uh, go back to work within three days as well. Uh, the advantage of this also is that these patients are, uh, are, that are about to lose their legs, we can frequently save their legs and prevent amputation. Uh, the Achilles heel that we've always had, uh, both in surgical and endovascular therapy, has been the formation of new blockages or scar, scar tissue formation. And uh, we now have a new technology that helps prevent this and helps decrease the risk of scar tissue formation. Uh, the older stents that we had, um, although they're very good stents and worked very well, did have a significant increase of scar tissue formation. And with our newer drug eluding stents, uh, this has decreased by about 40% out to about four years is what the data has shown. The stent itself is a laser cut stent made out of a material called nitinol, which is very blendable, very flexible, so it will move very nicely within the artery of the leg. The unique thing about this stent is that it is coated with a drug which prevents scar tissue formation and also prevents new blockage formation within the stent. Uh, as a cardiologist, we've used medicated stents for several years. Uh, back in the 90s, uh, we had only bare metal stents, which did not have medications on them. And uh, we used to see that these patients would come back quite often with new blockages and scar tissue formation. And so uh, then medication was placed on the stent, and we saw a significant decrease in the risk of these blockages coming back. So we used the same concept, and now placed in stents in the legs to help prevent these blockages from coming back in the legs as well.